But there's going to come a time when we're tired of being right there. Trust me on this. It's there. It's in you. Physically, mentally, and psychologically. There is heart and there's want to in this room. There's ability. There's everything. We just got to make our mind up. That last 2%, we got to go find out. Do you realize what we've become and what we're becoming? But you know what? Constellation Prize and, and trying hard enough, I ain't into that, man. Right? Here for Mon, moving to his right. Looking deep, got a receiver. Be ready. On to over the middle of the work. Blaze is going to walk. Hunt. And another easy walk-in touchdown for Texas. Folks, we're back in the saddle again. Welcome to NCAA Retro Bowl Mania, and we've got familiar SEC foes. We've got our Texas A&M Aggies going against the Gamecocks of South Carolina. There's been some bad blood between the two in the past, so let's uh, stop with the talking and just get straight to it. And A&M kicks off first, and South Carolina's got the ball. And it looks like they go straight three and out. And a has got a great field position right here. And Kale Hurd is under center. And as we can see, uh, remember, Ronald Shipley, their stud running back, is injured. So the other guys are going to have to pick up the slack. And somebody who's definitely able to do so, Carol Hurd, the... Uh, quarterback who ran for nine yards right there he's probably going to uh, add to some more of that action here we go first down up the middle and he short arms it and brings up second and ten here we go there's a pass and it goes to Ali Skura 19 yards and just with a blink of an eye they're in the red zone Here's a pass. Oh, and hurt. It got away from him right there as it goes out of bounds. He's typically someone who's uh, on target. As he was right there to Richie Edwards. First down. They're going back to Richie Edwards. And touchdown. Six to nothing. As you see the replay right there. Mix up between the defense and left Richie open. Going for the two-point conversion. And Hurd easily gets to the end zone. And a ms up 8 to nothing. The kickoff in South Carolina's got it. And they're on a move. Oh, but the interception turnover right there. And they've got a 35-yard line. And there is the running back. The running back with no name. A pretty good play right there. Gets seven yards. Here we go, second and three. Middle is wide open. Oh, it's incomplete right there. And now we're going third and three. I like the matchup down the bottom with Clinton Gilbert. Oh, and there it is. Like we said, we like the matchup. And he goes for 27 yards right there to a 30. Wow. Those that, uh, he has to come back and get it. And once he did, he took off. 27 yards. And it's first and 10. It's a pass to the problem child. And he gets out of bounds. 17 yards. They're inside the uh, red zone. It's a pass. Oh, nine yards right there to Gilbert. The clock is ticking. 14 seconds left in the uh, first quarter. Oh, good defensive stop right there on. Uh, third or second and one. Let's see what we're gonna get this time, and it's going to Richie once again. And see right here, as a defensive end just took off and blitz left him wide open. Now we're going for the two point conversion. Oh, and he catches it. Ali stretches out, and it's a sixteen nothing game at the end of the first quarter. Sixteen nothing. Tamu is up. And the Gamecocks have the ball in field goal position. They get on the board with a field goal. And has got it. And 224 left in the uh, second quarter. 
They might be going to Edwards. And yes, they do go to Edwards right there. Saw another favorable matchup. Edwards is definitely picking up the slack for the lack of running game right here. What a play. Here's a pass. And goes to Gilbert this time. And Gilbert gets out of bounds. And looks like they're going to Richie again. And here it goes. Three times a charm for Edwards. Three touchdowns in the first half. And that was just uh, simple right there. He probably could have hit him blindfolded. He was so uh, open. And there we go. Skura. Two-point conversion. And we're up 24-3 to three, just like that. A Carolina, are they going to lay down? No, they're not. They come back and get on the board with another field goal. and has got it. 49 seconds left. Let's see if they can get on the board. There's a pass. Oh! Gilbert caught, but it looked like he got his cleat stuck uh, somehow in the turf as he wasn't able to move. Oh, a scur this time, 12 yards. And I like the matchups we got up here, top and bottom. Oh, but good defensive play right there. And now we're at a second and 10. There's a catch right there and a quick timeout. Gilbert gets a midfield. Let's see if they can get in field goal position. Or even more. And there's a pass. He gets a score. He gets a 25-yard line right there. We've got a first down. And I think they're going They're going to go for it, folks. They know uh, going, field goals are not going to win this game. We see the problem child down to bottom. And there's a pass. Up in the air. Oh, the immaculate catch. Immaculate reception. Oh, he score. As it goes off of a couple of defenders up in the air. Skura is in the right place to be. Touchdown. Gets on the board. And AM is up 30 to 6. The two point conversion coming up. And there it is. And at the end of the half, your Aggies are up 32 to 6. Butt whipping right now. And here we go in the start of the second quarter, or half, excuse me. Comeback route. Nice pass right there, and keeps him in bounce. Want to give a shout-out to Retro Cougars. Once again, Retro Cougars for winning the sponsored uh, Fenway Bowl, which was sponsored by... Retro Bowl Mania. There it is. Nice catch. First down. So who knows? You might be seeing some content from Retro. Oh. Oh, no. And there's an interception right there. And as we said, might see some content from uh, the BYU Cougars of the RB CDL coming up. The winners. The Bowl as uh, South Carolina is on the move and they come back and score. It's 32 to 13. Makes it a little bit closer. Wow. Mistake right there. So we get a four-yard pass. Brings up second down. It's going to be a comeback route. Who's going to get it? And Skura gets it this time. 15 yards. And they're once again in South Carolina territory. I think your Aggies want to put a beat down on them. Like I said... There is some type of bad blood that's been going or brewing between the two. It's a pass. And it comes to Skur again. Goes for another first down. Catch of about 21 yards. It's a pass. And it gets in Gilbert. Seven seconds left with the end of the third quarter. Patience right there. And what great blocking by your... Uh, offensive line, two-point conversion, 
Easy. Richie Edwards, tight end who also has three uh, touchdowns. And let's see. Oh, AM gets it. Turns it over and downs. It's a pass. Oh! And another interception by Hurd right there. Uncharacteristic was not a uh, good decision right there. Caroline's got it. Oh, and they turn it back over once again. And they call for an audible. The catch gets out of bounds. He's getting ready to paint the sidelines, I bet. Oh, first down catch, Gilbert. And they're on the move. Let's see. There's a catch. Gilbert once again. And he gets out of bounds. Shifty goes for around 17 yards right there. Oh, good defensive play right there. Tried to sneak it by him. Second and 10. And up the middle. Oh, almost was a third interception right there. I know, uh, let's see, Carol Hurd is living dangerously. Third and 10. He's going to come back for it. What a catch. And I don't know if he got it, folks. He stepped out of bounds too quickly. But that's all right. There's a pass. And there's a catch right there by Skura as he dives and gets it. As the pass comes back. Oh! And Gilbert punks him off right there. Is he going to get into the end zone? No. 27-yard catch and run right there. As he shows his strength, thought he'd be able to dive and get into the end zone. Unfortunately not. 30-some seconds left to go in a the game. They're just adding insult to injury as Skura gets in. Touchdown. We'll see it once again. Come back. I'm going for the two-point conversion right here. And there it is. And they're up 48-13. to I think, folks, that's all she wrote, and yes, it is. And yes, your Aggies win once again. 48-13. to 13. I know they can't wait for Ronald Shipley to get back. Wow. And fans are disappointed in a defensive back. Oh, well. As we look at the stats right there, Heard 446 yard passing, not bad, but unfortunately he had two interceptions and a dangerous third one that ended up turning into a touchdown. Let's take a look at the stats. Heard 437 yards passing, once again, six touchdowns, and he did that one carry for nine yards. Richie Edwards. Six catches, three touchdowns. He's having a pretty good season so far. Skura, 11 catches for 171 yards. This joker almost has 100 receptions uh, already. Clinton Gilbert, 13 for 174. And now for the defense, Phil O'Connor, eight tackles and a sack. He's having an excellent season so far. Lindsey, four tackles. Feeney, five tackles. Zeiss keeps it up. I think they're probably getting ready to bench him. That's probably what's about to happen. And there you go, Shipley, who's been injured. And let's get ready to go over to uh, Zeiss pretty soon. Let's see what we've got. And yes... Zeiss is getting ready to get benched. Yes. Nine games, 12 tackles. Doesn't deserve to be out on the field, unfortunately. All right, and as you can see, dominance, 48-13, to 13, 62-36, to 42-19, 56-13, 56-22. What a dominant, dominant, dominant. Uh, stretch right here and we're getting ready to get out of here on retro bowl mania so we just want to say gig them and get ready we still have a couple more uh, sec foes 
folks like the likes of Florida, your Gators, and we're just waiting, can't wait till the last game of the season when they're going to be taking on the Longhorns. Already bad blood, already trash talk going on right now about that game. And we've got other games like Baylor and State Rivals going on, so please stay tuned. We've got a lot of great action going on. And then the uh, college playoff, and hopefully they'll make it to the Retro Bowl for the national championship. So on that note, Get uh last note. I know I've been saying a lot of notes, but we've got content uh creator uh showcase coming up. We've got a lot of exciting stuff coming up for there also. So please stay tuned on this channel. A lot of stuff going on, a lot of great things. So we'll see you uh until next time.